I've always wanted to be a dad. And let me tell you, I love it. Did you do another drawing of our family? Uh huh. That's me and Dylan and Mommy. And over here, far away, is you. I love how you drew my hair. That's poop. Well, it's well drawn. Okay, I'm their stepdad. The way I see it, anyone can be a father. But not everyone has the patience or the devotion to be a dad. Daddy! Brad, Daddy wants to talk to you. Hello, Dusty. Super to make your acquaintance. I'm not going to give you my social security number. Cholesterol? 180. Credit score 758. Very proud of that. Yeah, I guess I could pick you up. I mean, kids, at the end of the day, they know who's been around and who. Holy <laughs> man. Well, you're kind to say that. Thank you. The king received word that his dominion was being ruled over by some curly-headed step king with good credit? Oh, no. Sounds like your dad's spinning quite a yarn. Oh, actually, it's getting late. Aww. Good night, my little magical cherubs. Eskimo kisses. Who wants good night tickles? <laughs> good night back scratches. Oh, hey, who wants 20 bucks? Hey! What? Hey, kids. But there's someone here now that I hope you guys can learn to love. I thought you were talking about me. Oh, but you're not a dog, Brad. Why is he looking at me like that? No. So what do we got going on over here, man? It's a treehouse. We've only been at it for about two months. Brad, Dad finished the treehouse for you! Hey, be mad! I hope it's up to code. Oh, no, watch out, be mad! It's a pony, Dusty! Not bad. Take her out, see what she can do. Remember, one down, four up. Everyone knows it's one down, four up. One down, four down, four down. Oh my god! <laughs> so I'll just be grateful nobody got hurt, okay? I got hurt! Right, just stay still, I'll get you. No, please just go and get a shirt on. One lucky fan is gonna get a chance to shoot from half court. This one's for Dylan and Megan and Sarah and Dylan. There's nothing but net. Battle stations. Admiral, the Tampa Bay's gone missing just above the Colder Peninsula. Sir, we've got a shootout under the ice. I told Six Fleet you want a hunter killer. We've been ordered to cross waters that no American sub has ever crossed before. Submerge the ship. We are witnessing the most aggressive military buildup in Russian history. We've been keeping tabs on the Russian president and his defense minister, Durov. Oh my god. It's a coup. Cool dealing with a single rogue minister. What if we could free President Zakharin? We rescue the Russian president. We need eyes and ears on the ground. Captain, waiting orders. We're going in with four of our boys and get one Russian president. We need a local navigator. I risked my men, I risked my ship, because it was the right thing to do. This is about our future. If we don't pull this off. Go, go, go! It's gonna be World War III. You will be court-martialed. Then it's my job to keep you alive long enough so you can testify. Torpedoes in the water! Ship ready! Solution ready! Weapon ready! Five seconds, sir. Fire! Did we just start a war? No. But we might have sailed into one. Stations. That's a warship. Wow. Race for impact! If you think video games fry your mind Game over. and make you stupid, 
Your bed is a car. Yeah, but it's a sweet car. You're lost. <laughs> what is that ringing? Do I have a tumor? Now for this ultimate gamer. Who wants a shot at the champ? Whoa, who's going down? Desperate times. Josh has been spending our rent money on Filipino hookers. You're a hooker! I got evicted. Timmy, any chance I can crash on your couch tonight? Shut up. Call for desperate measures. This really cute chick said that I could sleep with her and her two crazy girlfriends. You remember my grandson, Alex? How old are you now? 36. You have a girlfriend? No. My grandson's gay, too. I'll give you his number. Why are you so tired? Because I was with three chicks last night. Don't tell me your roommates did that to you. They're crazy. They tied me up. That is legendary. Living for Alex? We're his roommates. <laughs> You're the reason Alex has been tired all week? We ride him pretty hard. Oh, that is so gnarly. Now. I was putting up my Christmas tree. Dude, it's July. And, uh, why are you naked? Oh my god, I am naked, come on in. From level one entertainment comes a comedy that proves. Don't judge me, monkey. You're never too old. This tea has quite a kick. <laughs> to come of age. I can hear my hair growing. Hey, uh, Sophie didn't die in the bed, did she? No. Good, good. No. She fell out of bed and died right here. Grandma's boy. Oh, I died on the floor, and nobody helped me. I swear to God, I would have helped you, Sophie. Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. I would have helped you. I just wasn't here. Gotcha! <laughs> oh, my God! You scary cat. I know what you're thinking. How the heck does a 52-year-old, over-the-hill, milkshake machine salesman build a fast food empire with 1,600 restaurants and an annual revenue of $700 million. One word, persistence. Prince Castle Sales. Hi, Jim. Ray, how's it going down there? Good, swell, a lot of interest. We got an order, six mixers. To anyone in particular? McDonald's. Care for a little tour? We wanted something different, and that's when my brother here comes up with one of his brilliant ideas. Order's ready in 30 seconds, not 30 minutes. Unique, original, there's nothing like this. It's revolutionary. It's exactly what it is, it's revolutionary. What is that? The Golden Arches. It's a way to make the place stand out. Huh. There should be McDonald's everywhere. Franchise the damn thing. Mr. Croc. Franchise. 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 McDonald's can be the new American church. And it ain't just open on Sundays, boys. I am flesh and I am bone. Rise up, ting, ting, like glitter and gold. How can we be almost out of capital? Did you mortgage our home? Maybe we could lose everything. I want to renegotiate. My lousy deal. I can't. Can't or won't? Ray. What? No! Oh, damn it. What you ought to be doing is owning the land upon which that burger is cooked. You're not in the burger business. You're in the real estate business. Franchise Realty Corporation. It's its own separate company, which puts it outside your purview. There's a wolf in the hen house. We let him in. When's enough gonna be enough for you? Probably never. You are to stop this instant. I am through taking orders from you. You have a contract. Contracts are like hearts. They're made to be broken. Business is war. It's dog eat dog, rat eat rat. I want to take the future. I want to win. The brothers are your business partners. Make it go away. I don't care what it takes. That glorious name, McDonald's. I had to have it. You don't have it. You sure about that? Yeah. Some guy called over here, a doctor. He's looking for a driver. You interested? I am not a medical doctor. I'm a musician. I'm about to embark on a concert tour in the Deep South. What other experience do you have? Public relations. Do you foresee any issues in working for a black man? You and the Deep South? There's gonna be problems. Promise me you're gonna write me a letter. No problems. Tell me that don't smell good. I've never had fried chicken in my life. You people love the fried chicken. You have a very narrow assessment of me, Tony. Yeah, right? I'm good. I'm the way I know. We will be interacting with some of the wealthiest people in the country. It is my feeling that your addiction Oof. could use some finessing. 
Not fun, ah, but why are you breaking my balls? Because you can do better, Mr. Balawanga. Dear Dolores. I saw Dr. Shirley play the piano. He's like a genius, I think. Come on, take it easy. I prefer not to get grease on my blanket. Ooh, I'm gonna get grease on my blanket. This gentleman says that I'm not permitted to dine here. I'm afraid not. How does he smile and shake their hands like that? Because it takes courage to change people's hearts. What are you doing? A lot of May I? Dear Dolores, sometimes you remind me of a house. You know this is pathetic, right? Put this down. The distance between us is breaking my spirit. Falling in love with you was the easiest thing I have ever done. P.S. Kiss the kids? That's like clinging a cowbell at the end of Shostakovich is a seven. That's good. It's perfect, Tony. Come on, get out now. You never win with violence. You only win when you maintain your dignity. You don't know your own people. You, Mr. Big Shot, doing concerts for rich people. So if I'm not black enough, and if I'm not white enough, then tell me, Tony, what am I? Won't you tell me? Anyone can sound like Beethoven. But your music, what you do, only you can do that. What do we do about the bones? We do this. <laughs> <laughs> Pick it up, Tony. Squirrels would eat it anyway. Pick it up.